Hi, my name is Jody Lane. I'm from Makovic, Nunatsiavut. It's a sunny afternoon, but I can't remember what season. I remember the sun shining through the window at my Graham's house. It is her house now because Grandpa is gone. Graham sits in her chair, one leg tucked in under, wearing a blue cardigan out over her blouse. She's knitting and smiling. She smiles whenever she sees one of her grandchildren, a smile that brightens her entire face. She smiles with her eyes. Right beside Graham, in her own special place in the living room's aunt piece, Graham's sister-in-law, who is more than that. She's Graham's other half. With both having now lost their husbands, they have become each other's dearest companion. You don't often see one without the other, and don't often talk about one without the other's name finding its way into the conversation. We all need someone like that in our lives. Graham and Aunt Peace sit in silence, knitting. Their needles clicking, sometimes in unison, and always to a steady beat. They have no need to look at their hands. They trust them. Then a conversation would start, which would often lead to laughter. Nothing forced. If there wasn't much to say, there was no feeling of awkwardness or obligation to speak for the sake of breaking the silence. Sometimes silence is golden. Golden like the sun shining through the window that day, hitting the plastic table covering and reflecting to brighten the entire room. I stand in awe of these two women, whom I look up to more than they will ever know. Between the two of them, they have raised 18 children, sometimes all under the one roof. They have a strength that you cannot measure, a strength that comes from carrying each of your precious babies to term with little to no prenatal care, and then delivering them without the comfort of pain medication or security of modern medical facilities. A strength that comes from seeing your own child on death's door and having no one but yourself to depend on to ensure that he lives. A strength that comes from doing without so that your children can have more. A strength that they did not ask for but embraced. I long for this strength. I think about my gram a lot, but especially back to when she died. It was only as I was take, talking to my aunts and uncles while writing her eulogy that I learned so many amazing stories of her heroism and courage. It was only then that I learned the true story of when one of my uncles was attacked by a husky dog at the age of two and much of his scalp was torn from his skull. Graham and Grandpa turned to the minister and his wife for help, but they didn't know what to do. So Graham, with Grandpa's help, cleaned my uncle's wound and sewed him back together. A message got out and help later arrived, and my uncle was taken to a hospital outside. It was after this that Graham realized just how important it was to have medical care in the community, so she took it upon herself to do something about it. She enrolled in correspondence courses in nursing, and for two years, with children underfoot and all of her other daily responsibilities, was able to pass her test administered by Dr. Padden and earn her certification. I'm not sure what the equivalent would be in today's world, but with her training, she then received medical supplies and was able to administer medicine and do many minor procedures. She was called on often and became a resource for not only the people of Makovic, but of neighboring communities as well. Would I have been able to be as strong as my gram? In the face of tragedy, would I have been able to stand up and do what was needed? She did. They all did. We are here because of those strong women who were resourceful, courageous, smart, and brave. They were the heroes, and we must continue to honor them. Let us be resourceful and courageous and smart and brave. Let us be like them, strong and beautiful.